Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Art and welcome back. Well, <clears throat> this past weekend was the Motor City Comic Con. And this is a three day pass. <clears throat> Funny story about this con this year. Funny story. Funny, funny story. At first, originally, I was supposed to go Sunday. I'm filming this on Sunday, so this is supposed to be the day I was supposed to go. Everybody I wanted to meet was going to be here on Sunday, and it didn't make sense for me to go two or three extra days just on Sunday. That way, you know, I can, like, take time off of work. You know, I don't have to take time off of work and, and you know, just go. <clears throat> Have a nice, pleasant day on Sunday. But what happened was my friend had some kind of family obligation this week, this Sunday, came up. So we had to re revise. He wanted to bring his son, so he's like, well, we can go Saturday. All right, cool. But he goes, I don't want to be trying to get autographs and everything on a on a on a Saturday. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that it's like 80 degrees out now, which is unusual for Mark and May. So I've been wearing this for three days and sweating. Even though you take a shower, you still have to, you can't, you have to keep this on for three days. Otherwise you have to keep buying a new pass every day. So then we said, okay, fine. So then I guess we got to go Friday now. <clears throat> so I had to get Friday off. So that way me and him can go there, get our autographs and everything out of the way. Then what happened was one person that I wanted to get autographs from, which you'll see, they wasn't there until Saturday. I said, well, Sunday, I'll be there Sunday. So no, no big deal. Then all of a sudden it said, we're going to be there Saturday. Then another person popped up Saturday only. So I said, okay, this is good. <clears throat> so I decided to buy a three-day pass for myself, two-day pass for that person, and good to go. And because um, everything kept changing, everything kept changing. We was like, we did this, and it's going to change to this, and it changed to this, change to this. <clears throat> Things happened. Me, I just had to put like seven hundred dollars worth of repair on my car, basically. I had to replace the brakes and rotors, and that was about 700 bucks. And I was like, ooh, am I going to make it? And I, but according to this, barely. Barely. And I just had, I just did that a couple days ago. <clears throat> and I just did that a couple days ago. So, hey, well, it was a very interesting week. So, and then also today, I also picked up my comic books for the week. And everything's fine. So let's get, let's get started. Hmm. I did buy some graphic novels. The New 52 Nightwing Number, Volume 4. One of the best Amazing Spider-Man stories ever written in the 80s was Craven's Last Hunt. If you ever, if you're in, if you're a Spider-Man fan and you want to hear read a good story, reads Craven's Last Hunt. <clears throat> G.I. Joe: The Best of Duke. I'm surprised I found this. And G.I. Joe Operation Kiss. So, I mean, thing is that I didn't want to buy a lot of... I usually go there and buy graphic novels instead of actual comics. Because they're... But then again, carrying these around, they're kind of... They're kind of heavy. And especially since I have shoulder issues right now, especially when my shoulder went back, popped a couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago. I didn't want to be carrying a whole bunch of heavy stuff. <clears throat> Bought this Batman foil. This is Batman. I know it's a Jim Lee cover, and I know I have this regular. 
So six oh eight. Uh, oh, okay. It's a Jim Lee iconic series cover. Okay, I didn't. Now, I'll tell you, I probably saw this in the store recently, you know, a couple of months ago, or whatever. And I probably just didn't pay attention to it because I, I said, I already got it. I don't need it in foil. But I got a good deal on this. And also, Deadpool number one for it. There's one place, one thing about sun, going on Sundays, sometimes they give you a deal. And I got a deal on these. These were 10 bucks a piece, so I got these both for five bucks a piece. Eh, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> picked up this Doom variant number one because I had a feeling that I would not be able to find Doom. Huh. Interesting. I just got a notification from TikTok that a wrestler is following me. Considering the fact that a wrestler follows me every month. Scam, maybe? And then I also picked up this Doom variant right here. Should be, according to this, is a George Perez Delgado. George Perez just passed away, so either he did this years ago, or Mike did that. He did this, and Mike DeGato just copying his act. I don't know, but it's fine. <clears throat> huh? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one fifty. I do have this, but this is the variant. <laughs> this is a variant, so you know it's pretty neat. I picked up this J. Lee signed Namor, number 26. <clears throat> and the hilarious part was when J. Lee was at the Motor City Comic Con years ago, I was looking for this book. I did not find this book until two years ago. Go figure. I was mad. I was hot. Because when J. Lee was drawing this, Namor was cool again. <clears throat> A signed copy of uh, Fabian Nixia, Nixia, Nixiza, Deadpool to Circle Chase. Now, these are not verified, but they supposedly are signed, so I guess I have to keep it at that because I do like signed comic books. <clears throat> so, one of, the local, one of the comic book artists named Tony Flex was there this weekend and he wrote feral so this is you know looks nice look i think this is a halloween parody and feral number two signature right there and my favorite local man foil Half foil cover one number one and number two. Now the thing is he also did a swimsuit. It's kind of like a swimsuit issue. And I was gonna look for it, but I was like, ah, I don't feel like digging through all this stuff. Coley Hammers Blue Beetle. It's right there. Now the fun thing is I don't understand. I mean, I could see it. I mean, he should, in my opinion, he should use like gold or something like that, or blue, to make it pop. But you know, hey. Is this Jason Gavin? So what happens? I saw this, and I thought this was cool. I thought this was a cool cover, so I bought it. He signed it. That was cool. <clears throat> but the big hit was Tom King. Now, who is Tom King? He basically writes Batman right now. And from what I've read of this Batman, it's really good. Probably some of the best Batman writing in years. So, this is Wonder Woman number one foil. Tom King and my favorite miniseries for him 
human target number one, and human target number two. That's not all. Saturday, on, Saturday only, this one wrestler, he was part of, T I learned about him through TNA. And then he went to AEW, had a big hot stint in AEW for like the first year, a year and a half. Then they put him on Ring of Honor, which no one really watches. <clears throat> and he finally just quit. All Eagle Ethan Page. He moved to Michigan to be, so he could, it's easier for him to get back and forth to work. Technically, he lives technically an hour away from where I live. So, it's kind of funny. And, met Lex Luger again for a second time. And this was taken outside the Palace of Detroit, of Auburn Hills in Detroit. Before they, long time ago. Met Hall of Famer. Scott Steiner. <clears throat> I'm the Scott Steiner. <coughs> this is my like third time meeting him. And when I met him, I was like, thank you for thank you. And I said, it's a shame that we couldn't meet Rick again. And he was like, Yeah, and if you know, you know. And of course I met Ron Simmons one more time. The one thing that's funny, because like I I couldn't find my damn shirt. Cause last time I met him, I was wearing my damn shirt. <clears throat> I couldn't find my damn shirt. So I said, you know what, sir? I couldn't find my damn shirt. And he starts laughing. Then my friend started showing him. He had his rare figure, Ron Simmons figure, which I gave him. <laughs> I, Cause he'd say at that time, he didn't have anything. So I said, here, take this instead. <laughs> and it was years ago. <clears throat> But he couldn't make it. So I was like, so he got, so he finally got that signed after two and a half years, maybe. And it was funny. It was pretty funny. He was showing, he was showing off his wrestling cl figure collection. <clears throat> now, this one, this one, um, TNT Authentics, there, I went there before, last time that they was here, and Technically, this place is right. Technically, the guy who owns it technically lives technically like 45 minutes away from where I live. So, and supposedly he has people coming in and you sign and gets his verifications. So in their booth, <clears throat> there's these mist, there's like these mystery autographs. They're 20 bucks a piece. So you can get one classic superstar, one current superstar, current tag team or Hall of Famer possibly you don't know and every $40 that you spend every, you spend on this you get to spin the wheel to get a bonus you can get a bonus autograph and I ended up with this guy named Odyssey Jones now if you're a wrestling fan you probably not Unless you were watching NXT, you don't know who Odyssey Jones is, but he's going to be debuting on the main roster very soon. And, of course, it's certified. So this is totally legit. So I was trying to figure out, what should I do this on camera? Should I do a separate video, or should I just lump this with all this? And I can just relax, supposedly, right? Right. So, <clears throat> oh. There's two autographs in here. Is there two autographs in this thing? Oh, there's two autographs in this. <laughs> what do I get? Braxton Sutter. Don't know who this guy is, but okay. 
Maybe he might hit big. And who the hell is this? I don't know who this is. Hmm. Who the hell is this? Okay. Well, hopefully he makes it big. Well, it's a mystery. You never know what you might get. Something young. I don't know. I don't know who that guy is. Hmm. It would be nice if they wrote down on the back who these guys were. I might ask them and say, you know, if, you're, if you could write their names on the back, we could figure out who these guys are. I think Sean Bale. Okay. So. So it looks like out of everything else. My biggest hit was Odyssey Jones. Okay. Whew. And that's it for the Motor City Comic Con. Now, a lot of now a lot of time at first no. A lot of time, and to be you know let's be let me be transparent. Originally, I was only going to go one day, and that was it. Even though my parameters is that I need to have at least fifteen hundred because you like I say you never know what's going to be there. <laughs> you never know. But the thing about it is that they diversified a lot in the past like four or five years there's there's less comic books there's less comic books and less action figures or toys you could say and there's more specialized stuff like not even I mean they didn't really do a lot of anime stuff this year but it's more like arts and crafts stuff <clears throat> very arts and crafts like for example there's I know I got some of that stuff in the video, which I'll release bits and pieces of everything I shot for everything I shot during Motor City Comic Con. I will put on YouTube. <clears throat> but the thing is, is that you know, it's or if I do it right, I could splice it all into one big video or do many stuff. Who knows? So in a sense, there wasn't a lot there for me. And it's like I say, in a sense, there wasn't a lot there. There was enough to keep my interest, but it wasn't a lot to say, wow. Wasn't a lot. And the thing is that a lot of people were talking about it. It's like, and it was it gets busier and busier every year. Busier and busier. It gets crowded and more crowded every year. The prices keep going up. <laughs> and the funny thing is, even though the prices keep going up, the tennis, they're breaking the tennis records. So, but the thing is that, you know, a lot of people just go there to watch. People watch. Now, personally, I mean, you could do whatever you want to do with your money. And that's your money. Your money, your business. But me personally, if I want to go to a convention, Depending on what, if I'm going to a comic book convention, I expect to spend money to buy things. Of course, getting autographs is great, but when the majority of my budget was autographs and nothing really else, 
I feel like I didn't account. I feel I got less for my money's worth. That's how I feel. But then again, like I said, I had great fun. But I just personally feel that I got didn't get my money's worth. <clears throat> but that's a me problem. So after I got left, I got there. I left early because I was tired. Had to pick up some medicine, which I got to do. I had to do today. I had to um, pick up. I had to go to my store and pick up my own comic books. And I'm, oh, look at this Wolverine right there. And believe me, I was exhausted. And probably because I was dehydrated too. Yes, I know. It's not going to satisfy my thirst for too long. I know. Oh, one last thing from the car. I did manage to, I mean, there wasn't a lot of wrestling figures this year because I usually go there to buy wrestling figures I couldn't, can't get. <clears throat> and the funny thing is the same people that, you know, one place I go to called Funky Town, they were there, they had a booth, but the price was a little bit jacked up, naturally for the con. And I was like, I'm not going to buy anything from them. And I love the store, but I didn't want to buy anything from them because guess why? You jacked your price up 10 to $15 extra for the con. I can go there and get the same thing normally. So, but so I found this other place, and he had some decent stuff. But finally found this MJF I was looking for. Number fifty from the Unmatched collection. Now, in my area, now I don't know, but I see other people's channels and other people see this figure all over the place. I don't in my area neck of the woods. I don't see any of this figure anywhere. But I found the elusive Riho figure. Riho! From AEW. As uh, if you were a wrestling fan, you heard of Jim Cornette. He always, Jim Cornette. He called her Riho! <laughs> and that was it. From, that's totally it from the con. So <clears throat> let me show you what I picked up from my comic book store. Masters of the Universe Revolution, number one. Miss Marvel Mutant Menace, number three. Rat City, number two. Rat City, number one, are very intriguing, so I can't wait for Rat City, number two. Red Coat, number two. Where have I seen this before? Did we see something like this recently? Very uncanny. Actually, Red Code's um, my, in my stack of books <clears throat> that I'm gonna read. So I basically, the newer books I'm putting to the side. I've heard Cobra Commander is about to end very soon, so I read. So I, you know, my, I'm thinking about reading all of it all at once. I heard Duke may or may not can't may be done in a minute, so I'm going to try to read all that at once. Last but not least, GI Joe number six. And that is it for this week, and for the Motor City Comic Con. Wait, I forgot. One more thing. I finally picked this up at my comic book shop. The Wolverine Hulk 2 pack based off of this Wolverine comic right here, which is one of my favorite comic book covers. <laughs> Now, the funny thing is, I was waiting for this to show up at Target. All the Targets I've ever been to don't even have this. So, I'm wondering what's going on. 
and of, and so of course I had to I had to pay a little bit of upper charge for my. Now the hilarious part, <clears throat> I could have picked this up at the con. This my comic book store charged me this. Now here's the thing. Uh, Target would charge like fifty bucks for this. My local comic book store would give you a little bit up charge because they're a private business. Guess how much it was this? I found this at the con. Guess how much people wanted for this? They wanted eighty dollars. And I said, you know what? I saw this at the con, and something told me, get yourself to warp nine asap to pick this up and i did <clears throat> okay now i'm totally done so what you think about what you think of all the stuff i got and all the stuff i did i mean tell you the truth out of all this the mystery the mystery the mystery signatures i think that was a kind of a letdown because i have no idea who any of these people are but like I said, maybe one day, um, nine times in May, they might show up in AEW. The highlight was meeting the wrestlers themselves. That's always a highlight because there's not a lot of comic book stuff there. And to tell you the truth, I, ha I could have bought some slabs. I could have bought the one Spider-Man comic book I really wanted. And the thing is, they wanted like three fifty for it. And I was like... <sighs> Pass. But anyway, <clears throat> thanks for this watching me for all this time. You know, if you like some, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe. Tell, if you've been to a con, tell me what con you went to. Tell me if that's a good con to go to. <clears throat> now, if they have this in November. Now, I know I always say I'm not going to go. I always say that. Now, the thing is, going to two cons in one year is kind of a big stretch for me, especially what's going on in my, you know, because life is life. But if I do go, it's probably going to be for a couple of hours. But even if, but, you know, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you, would you like to go to a con? If you do, let me know. Talk to you later. Oh, and better yet, if you do go to a con, tell me, ex tell me what you bought. That way I know what to look for. All right. Talk to you guys later.